Now, the important thing about the red grip is that you should be able to change it. So, look, from there, your thumb goes there. This is wider. Your thumb goes uh, wider side. Your second finger, second part, goes the other side. So from that view, your thumb and the second finger must be located uh, opposite each other, like that, like that. Like that. Like that. Why? Why you need the two fingers opposite each other? Because it's a thumb is there, second finger is there, you can use these two to change the grip. Here, here, I can change backhand. Ready? I can change forehand. But, Let's say, if your thumb goes too much there, some players do that. A wrong ready grip. In this case, I only have a one finger to change grip, because I cannot use this finger. Then my change grip takes longer. And I cannot change grip accurately because the thumb is already there. Other problem, the thumb goes here. Same problem. Thumb is there, second finger is there. For ready grip. And this player cannot change grip correctly. So those two must be opposite each other. And there are two sides are wide. This side and the other side wide, two sides there. The thumb and the second finger must rotate it in there, which is here, there, there. Here. Here. Some players have already backhand ready grip. This is not backhand thumb. But some players have that kind of ready grip. I call it 95% backhand grip. Yes, this is very good if opponent hit the backhand side. Yeah, because I already have a backhand grip. I don't need to change backhand grip. I just hit it. But what happened? This is a backhand grip. Racket is facing that side. What happens if opponent hit that side? Compare. Here, there. I have a big problem here. What happened? If shuttlecock forehand the side there, how can I hit it like this? Now, from 95% backhand ready grip to change forehand grip takes, let's say, 0.3 seconds because I have to change more. Compare ready grip, shuttlecock comes forehand side, I can change grip in the 0.1 seconds. Here to there, instead of uh, backhand grip, and then like that. Now, from center of my palm up to this area, must not touch the grip. Watch this, please. Like that. I am not sure whether you can see it. 
here, little gap. Or why? When you have a gap here, look, it is so easy to change the grip. Ready? There. Ready. Change to backhand, change back to ready grip is uh, very fast when there is a gap. But do not make too much gap. This is uh, far too much. And you will lose control to change grip. Not like that. Just the top half away from the touching the grip. Same. Some players have uh, already touched the grip. I call it thick grip. And grip like that, I can't change it. Normally, players who have this kind of grip, instead of uh, changing the grip, they squeeze their wrist to hit it. They force their wrist uh, to suit the shuttlecock. Let's say shuttle is there. Grip like that. This player have to turn their wrist maximum and have to make a swing to suit it. Instead, just change it and hit it. It's much more accurate, powerful, accurate than not changing grip and use wrist, arm, swing to compensate to instead of changing the grip. So look, not like this. There. So gap. This is uh, very important too. Make your wrist live. What do I mean? 